Archangel the same. And like Illustrator said, Archangel, is, there's so many tricky dun sa pick nila. Masyadong tricky sa mga pick. Masyadong silang nag-over... Over... Commit? Commit mm -hmm. for that pick. So, ayun, ayun yung naging problema nila. I think, if they're gonna do that, it need to be a, a insurance to win. Kasi, this is crucial right now. Harit, syempre mo open. Kimi already banned out. Harit, Brock, and uh, pr Your probably the Le Lunox as well. Yeah. Anong pwede mapili dito ng Bernie Sports. But I think that they prioritize Harit pa rin. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I like the fact that they banned Lunox. I mean, kasi alam naman natin na si Bren, mahilig din siya mag-approach ng game from a two-mage perspective. You take that possibility away from them kasi napakalimitado nga natin when it comes to those, uh, those uh, you know, assassin, those mages. But the beautiful thing is Your that is Archangel picking. now have gotten that, uh, that Claude. Claude na feeling Archangel, like you said. As well as the Grok. But this Claude is really hard for Archangel to pick up the Claude early, at this early point. Well, we know that the Claude is really hard to contra it. I want to ask the pros, what are the pros contra or the answers to the Claude? I mean, I predict this earlier. When you get the Harit and the Archangel, the Grok and the Claude, they will go for that Chu and Leomord. Because they can just go for that Chu and Leomord. Because they can just go for that Chu and Leomord. Because they can just go for that Chu and Leomord. Because they can just go for that Chu and Leomord. I dominant tong pick draft na to kasi isipin ng Archangel ano yan chun yan it will be a fighter or a tank Leomord is exceptionally super strong pwede niyang iharass si Claude if Claude doesn't know how to position well so this is super risky and then picking that um, on Archangel taking that Esmeralda is good enough to sustain but paano nila gagawin yan if Bren will initiate directly pag habang yeah. wala pang shield si Esmeralda so, yeah. so yun eh, well adding to that kasi yung Claude well, ang, ang only escape mechanism nun niya is the BMI or, or the battle mirror image. Kung sakaling, sino mag-initiate? Si, si, si Joe mag-initiate, meron lagi nag-aabang na, na Leomor sa, sa kabila. Or vice versa, ganun din. So, one of the best ways to control the Claude is at least take Your down, control him fine. early game. Kung sakaling hindi mo siya makontrol early game, at least focus fire. Dapat lahat ng, ano, lahat ng uh, full damage ibabot sa kanya. But uh, again, making it more difficult for uh, for AA. Yung Esmeralda, tingin ko maganda rin. But uh, I think it's not... Is that in a full and partial when it comes to lockdown? So I think dito kung nakita natin binan nila yung yung akay. I think Bren is going for that um Franco pick. Yanti ng galan ni akay, like you said, na inyo magiging counter sa kanya. So 80% they might pick the Franco again since we have we saw that Archangel have that grok. But Archangel they have the last pick. They can counter initiate that pick. So it's all about Archangel now on that last pick. Alright, now, the will be of the Guinevere na can be really like dito ng Archangel. And actually, yung mga teams sa ating ngayon, para ang bilis nila pumili. Esmeralda as well as the Guinevere, very strong damage source para sa Archangel. A lot of control as well coming out from this Guinevere. Hindi ganun kaganda ang win rate ng Guinevere overall, pero sa Archangel, it's actually really successful. Na natural para sa mga teams, naturally will pick the carry laban sa isang Claude. And this time, since carry is available, Brenny Sports are considering it. Is this the right decision para sa Brenny Sports to, to answer the Claude with a carry? I mean, Rebo, he's super versatile. If you're gonna use that, um, if you're gonna use that carry, we know how he play carry. He's basically the one playing the carry on uh, on Brent's side. And then ako, going for that picking. um Leomort, it depends, it can switch up, but I'm pretty sure it will be Rebo. He can domi dominate that Claude because he know when to go in, when to dominate, when he reach certain level. Oh, I particularly like itong Bellerick no. laban sa Claude. It's kind of a classic counter. Dahil meron ka nga na Flower of Life. And again, the damage from Claude is, uh, you know, maliliit na para maraming beses ka mag ng damage. Which means na mas maraming beses mag-proc yung Flower of Life mo. It's one of those natural counters. But for Archangel, mukhang gusto nilang gamitin yeah. ang pinangla pinanglalaso ng Brady Sports, the Franco themselves. We actually talked about this a little bit earlier. This is Archangel. Kaya nilang gamitin yung Franco. They've shown yes. it to us before. And the fact that uh, already Amazing walang job. Akai, means Ooh. that they can do it. Instead, of course, they go to pick the main sitar, which is really, really good. Gustong gusto ko yung main sitar pick. It's gonna help them wow. get to the back lines, get to that carry, and at the same time, um, nullify, uh, help them when it comes to a team fight situation. Meron na silang drop. So, I really think this main sitar is honestly a really great pick. Wow. This main sitar actually answers the Leo Mort and the Joe. Dahil hindi pwedeng mag-shunpo, hindi pwedeng mag-jitkundo, uh, as well as yung ultimate ni, uh, 
ni Leo Mord habang nasa Ultimate Day Aka, ni uh, Mincy Tar. But of, of course, mahirap nga namang gamitin yun. Now, I wanna ask you very quickly, sinong makakuha ng match point dito? Let's start with Illustrado. Uh, for me, uh, Archangel. Because Archangel. I, I think the Mincy Tar is honestly a really, really great pick. It answers like three out of the five heroes on the side, you know, of Bren Sports. Okay. Uh, now, how about you, Oya Doggy? Ano yung sayo? Okay. Um, so... Tar, another pick, another new pick coming from this meta. That's the new uh, meta from season two. Now they have it on season three. Na alabas na nila. It's, a, it's super very good pick. Because first thing first, new carry, second skill dash, Leo Mord, dash. Oh, uh, pag may kabayo oh, dash, um, Harry, two. two. Basically, na uh, four. Na, sorry, four na hero pick ng Bren is using dash skill. So with that pick, it's super good. And if ang um, Bren may Franco. Ang Archangel, they have that Missy Tar to pull yeah. someone off. Your glory, of course. So, uh, Archangel, uh, but then, Archangel. Kaya, uh, Kuya Togi, how about you, Kuya Tads? Bren ako dito. Ay, <laughs> naku! <laughs> Hindi, bakit? Kasi meron Belerick. Akala ko nung una, nung, nung hinover nila yung Franco, which is a very good thing against Belerick. Once na nature shield siya, may aalis niya kagad on top of, or when it comes to clashes, may hihiwalay niya yung Belerick sa team fight. Mm -hmm. Pero nung nag-missy tar sila, yung hook kasi niya, kung merong hero sa likod ni Belerick, yun yung mahuhook, hindi si Belerick. That's true. So, yun yung pwedeng pang control. Pati sustainability, plus the factor of flower of life, sabi mo nga kanina, sa Claude, isa sa mga hard counters ng Claude. Uh, well, all about execution pa tayo sila, but looking at the drafts, I'll go for Brent. Okay, Brent, para kayo ito yun, ito na perfect pa rin sa kanyang mga predictions. Doggy naman, hindi pa rin nakakatama until now. But for now, hindi natin kumakatama naman ang ating mga shoutcaster. It's gonna be time for Manjin and Shinbu. Maraming salamat, Wolf. At syempre, sa ating mga panel, tama ka dyan. Siguradong malakas ang tama ng ating narod. Lalo pat, game 3 na, 1-1. Yung ating race to 3, paunahan, makadalawang palalo. Mga kaibigan, Archangel versus Bren Esports. Instant reset atin ng iba to kagad. Sa laro, let's go, pump yung technique. <laughs> Red side, ang Archangel at Bren, ang blue side. Best of three na po. Lagi, uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for those guys na bago, uh, bago sa esports, uh -oh. iba po ang mentality kapag lalaro ka ng best of five. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. As in, laro ng momentum yan eh. Tapos, uh -oh. grabe, ang daming mga techniques ang nare-reveal talaga dyan. Uh -oh. Clearly, yung draft later on nag a based on the draft that was witnessed on the earlier games. Correct. Mga kaibigan, on the blue side ay ang Bren Esports Squad. UG onto the Harit Coco for the carry pain. Uh -oh. Para siyempre sa Beleric. Uh -oh. Ay, nako! Uh -oh. Ay, nako! Uh -oh. Ay, malanti ata mga kaibigan! Uh -oh. Ginalayan ni Bats! Norma! Oh! Ay, one-one! Nagkakagigilan. Hey, so onto the Joe Rivo para sa Leo Mord. At si Kuluwas naman gagamit ng Gwenny Beard. Jeff Cutie for Ever Claude, Rio ang gagamit ng Esmeralda, Lusty ang Grok, and Jay ang Mincitar, Kuya Shinbu, oh. Luge ang Claude, 1v1, level 1, oh. sa isang true damage passive na yeah. meron ng isang carry. Totoo yan. Actually, may kasama naman si Claude doon, si Dexter, pero medyo payat. Medyo payat, 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 payat. Tama, tama, so, tama. talaga lugi talaga siya doon sa 2v1 scenario na yon. Anyway guys, para mas lalong mag-init pa itong ating laban, the real, sa Realme boot po, may clappers na pinamimigay. There are clappers oh. na given na the Realme boot, so make some noise with that. UG here, almost getting touched there by the energy wave. Buti ka na, pero one-one pa rin naman tayo ngayon. Correct, hashtag Real Gaming Pro, and syempre, binabati ko rin ang game li, and ang smart, pero kung yung Shinbu na ibigay na ngayon kay Mage Dad, UG, mm. another action Jackson type of oh. hero, the Harit, pare. Dalawa yan, di ba? Oh. Lunox o Harit. Or kahit ano, bigan. basta action Jackson, mm. hindi yung mga passive, passive setup dito. And this is a classic din, kasi makikita natin oh, ulit ngayon si Hayes. si Hayes on the show. And that is a tank emblem show, ha? Correct, tank emblem. Magpapakunan sila dito. Pero show, Lupet! Sabi ni Kiluwash dito, Ooh. there you go. Second kill para dito sa Arcade. This is a very, very interesting Kiluwash. Hindi si Rio. Ang, ang nasa Gwendy Beer, no? Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Nako. Pero Kiluso. they're shutting down Jeff Cutie. Yeah. Ja sabi ni Jeff Cutie dito, nako. He is actually at the dangerous spot. Kuya Shinbu, kasi mas mahihirapan siya kumuha ng farm dito. De, actually, this is now a dead lane para kay Kuya mo, kay Kuya mo, Jeff Cutie forever. But, pero nakapatay siya ng isa. Ka yung 1-1 kanina. Oh, yung 1-1 kanina. One -one kanina. Kay oh. So, pareha sila 1-1 nga nung Beleric dito. Nung Beleric, yeah. Actually, yeah, na-push out nga si Claude doon. Expected naman yun. Miniroar na lang ng Archangel na makakuha din sila ng Turtle of their own. Oh, gra Nakita mo yung ano? Yung predictions, uh -oh. oh, pero pumasok uh -oh. sila, parang lasty dyan. Sabi dito ni Kuya Ribo, ako din. Ako din, meron. Guys, napapansin nyo kung paano yung mga pro players maglaro. Predict, 
nagbuhok pa lang si Mincitar, nakatutok pa yung mga talon, kumbaga, si Esmeralda at si Guinevere. Kung baga parang si Doctor Strange dito, <laughs> si ano, si Kuya Kiluwash, nakita niya yung mga possibilities, yun nga lang, hindi tuma, advance pa sa advance, kuya Shinbu. Kung baga, na, na, nauna pa sa first. Nauna pa sa first. first. So, Mahirap yung kapag nauna ka sa first. At early ka pa sa maaga. Totoo, totoo. Minsan wala sa hulog yung ganun, di ba? Yun na nga nangyayari dyan, pare ko. One, two, one kill per minute ang nangyayari. Marksman set up ang dalawa dito. I like the Guinevere actually and the Esmeralda yeah. combination para dito sa Archangel. I'm, I'm very curious nga eh. Like Giluwas, Guinevere is actually a proactive hero. Hindi oh. ito yung usual na pinapag-split push mo. Totoo. Nakaibang approach ngayon ito ng Archangel. As in, ganit ba ka-flexible Ayan talaga ang Archangel? As in, ito yung playstyle here. It's on the bottom lane side. Tingnan natin. Bulbasaur activated. Yung kanyang ultimation. At kita mo naman, wala pa rin magagawang sagot doon sa taas naman. Bitin na bitin ang Pokeball pero may hila na magaganap pero mukhang walang mababata. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, kiluwa siyang nawala. Jay. Pero si Jay, nako si Kuya Jay. Oh, Ay. pero baka UG yan, Mr. Oh, okay. Consistent. Shaking and Shaking bacon. Shaking and bacon, pinakadukin, no? Pumahadukin, sumasonic boom, <laughs> Pesci, no? Nako po, mga init. mainit, mainit. Init na, ito yung game 3. Mainit talaga yung laban. Game 1, Archangel. Game 2, Brave Sports. Di game 3 sa atin. Ganito yung ano, mapagpigil hiningang game. Yabi. Mga Bobby, mm -mm. habang si Lasty sumusubok dito ang depensahan ng kanilang Torres sa bandang top lane, papasok dito si Jay. Okay. There's the Glock Glock, pero grabe naman. Yeah. Dash in, ja dash in, dash out. Hindi naman makakatuhog din doon. Siyempre yung mister natin with the Spear of Glory. Turtle is now up into the map. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco being seen here into the mid lane side. Okay, okay. Tignan natin dito. Actually, yeah. uh, the carry is a good counter din sa Glock, Kuya Shinbu. 7 oh. to 12%. No damage on the passive. By the way nga pa, wala sa information ng mga viewers namin, for yes. the most part, yung shoutcast namin dito, ang karamihan talaga mababanggit lang namin ay kung ano yung obvious Totoo. na nakikita ng player. At very best, we won't be giving out any information, any clue, any hints kung ano nagaganap at tinatago ng mga players natin dito kasi medyo semi-rinig pa eh. Ay. Tama, tama, tama ka dyan. Pero mukhang okay na natin sabihin dahil ang unang Totoo. bagong ay mapupunta sa Archangel. So you want that exchange na, na may pick up oh. sa bandang taas pero sa bandang gitna oh. sino ang nawala si Kapitan sa Kapitan tatlo na yung deaths ni Pain doon at ito nga ba yung sinasabi ni Doggy na baka oh. may tiltiration oh. na nagigaling kay Pain Haze shaking and baking dead at mukhang buhay pa si Haze hindi natuluyan ni Esmeralda dito sakto sa Aladdin and now sumunod na lang din yung ating Leo Mord oh. three members of Bren Esports getting clapped there by Archangel the Arabian Jutsu mula sa Archangel dito Esmeralda In combination with Jay, the Minsitar Kuya Shinbu. Sa loob pa kayo ng King's Landing lalaban. At hindi ako makapaniwala, kayang-kaya pala talaga galawin ni Kinuwas ang Guinevere. Ang Guinevere. Oo. Boy, siya ang nag-initiate. Yeah, it makes your team a very, very flexible. Gets? Akala ako, puro lang split push, puro lang damos, puro lang Hayabusa. Si parang kiluwa, may Guinevere pala din. Hindi pala pwede yun. Yeah, fighter din naman si Guinevere. Pero I was thinking for the most part that it is of Rio, na Guinevere player nila. She is considered a fighter mage. Parang Shinbo, hybrid ang galawan niya dito. And of course, with that passive, susundan at susundan ka talaga ng kanyang psycho ball. Sina psycho ka rin yan. And the more na meron kayong knock up, mas mainit kayo. And ang mahirap kasi sa Guinevere, if you are running a marksman lineup, kung aasa kayo sa normal hits, oh. kapag special migration niya, automatic yung una mong i-hit oh. yung oh. illusion. Yan, si Ribo, nagkakabal ng babae Ayan, dito. Oh. Oh. Mga kaibigan. Okay, Kilu psycho ball. Si Kiluwas yan, si Kiluwas yan. Tinusok, tinusok. tinusok. Si Sibahin, lamon pa! Ay, bahay na trick win! Yabi, wala na siyang special migration na pwede magawa. Oy, oh! Meron! Hindi, alam mo, special, special migration, Kuya Shin. Ah! May magic top, pero andun pa rin si Ribo. Basta babae ka, tutuukin ka. Stick them with the pointy end, sabi dito ni paring Ribo. Yabi. Di pwede yan. Di pwede yan. Di pwede yan. Wala ka Tusok Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Ito, hari ng tusok. Ang hari ng tusok, mga kaibigan. But meanwhile, Claude dito, Jeff Cutie forever, Demon Hunter Sword, Golden Stop, pwede na pumalag. Falling Star Moon. Okay, okay. Falling Star Moon. Still the shield on that one. Nakakapon si Coco at getting shattered down dito ni Jeff Cutie forever. A tower dive, baby. Oh my G, eto na ang blazing duet. Eto ang ayaw mo, paring Shin. Yabi. Napakaaga nito ah. Namatay si, si Jeff Cutie forever kanina. Pero around 6 minute, uh, the 6 minute, Mark, uh -oh. meron siya kagad dalawang core item. Yun na nga eh. And you don't want that kasi ang Coco, ang, uh, ang isang Claude, aasa yan mamaya. Wala. 
sa Art of TV Retreat. Palagi wala na lang. lang. Palagi na lang. Napapansin ko yung mga Claude, they usually wait out to really get into that late game to be that unstoppable force yes. not to be recalled with. Pagpasok ng late game. Pero si Jeff, hindi. Anong late game? Late game. Late game, late game. Sasama. Alam mo, lumipat ako sa team na to. Sasamahan at sasamahan ko to. Hindi lang sa dulo, sa simula pa lang. Simula pa lang. And sabi ni Jeff Cutie forever dito, I'm taking my talent. I'm taking my I'm talents. I'm taking my talent. Tumunyos. Tumunyos. <laughs> Ako ang bagong Kevin Durant. I'm a join a new team. Yun ang magiging storyline dito mga kaibigan. Pero for nine. Nako, eto na naman kung sino ata yung nasa blue side. Yun ata ang nalulugi. And ewan ko, on this kind of play, there is a heavy demand to turn things around. Pwede. To get a multi-target knockoff. To get a multi-target crowd control. Yes. And same situation ni Jay kanina. Si Hayes lang ang available nun. You would have wished na merong minotaur si Payne dito. But of course, Payne's job is to mitigate, soak up the damage. You using the ultimate the Balleri. Totoo, yung lineup din kasi dito ng Bren Esports, medyo biten sa Royal Rumble fight eh. Sa oh. sabayang pagbigkas, sabayang suntukan. Meanwhile, like Angel, ang dami nilang setup para maibigay kay Jeff Cutie Forever yung Art of TV rebuff na pag umabot ng 10 stacks, para kang may libreng sprint. Yeah, Kahit mag-sprint ka, tapos 10 stacks yun, habol, habol na habol ka, ka ni Jeff Cutie. Wala lang kailangan na BMI. Wala lang BMI. Walang BMI. You blazing do it, tapos 10 stacks. <laughs> Kahit mag-sprint ka, wala. Sasaluin mo yung lahat, Tershin. Yapi, yeah, sir. Ibig God, the Wintoker yata dito para kay uh, Reebok. Hindi mm -hmm. tayo namamali. Wintoker or maybe the Deadly Blade. Pero, well, let's just wait out how will that roll. Para dito kasi, again, ang kailangan ng Archangel ay hindi lang yung item. Ang kailangan ng Bread Esports ay hindi lang items nila, yung setup talaga. Yes. And this is a nice opportunity. The Lord being taken in by Archangel. Pumesto siya Ace na si Pa si Kiluash. Black Magic Kick, sabi dito. Kiluash, pero may special protection. Maka-cancel out, ladies and gentlemen. Tore, ay naku, Lord. Lord na gusto Jeff, pero hindi pala. Si Jay ang una mawawala. Ah. Pero hindi si Maring Yuji sa malang gilid. Naglabas ng Z4 sa kanyang spada. Jeff Cutie forever. This is your time, maybe. No, hindi. Sinagot pa rin siya ni Coco dito. Ito, palitan mismo, tatlo para sa tatlo. Grabe, sabayang pagbigkas. Yes. Abay, nako! Ay! Si Coco! Hooligans! Ay, nako! Cardo! Yes. Ah! Cardo! <laughs> Ba't kasi hindi pa matapos-tapos yung palabas mo? Coco Talisay, mga Ay, kaibigan! Hooligans! Ang pinansagang Coco Martis! Oo, oh, men. Ay, Diyos ko, kitang-kita, huli camps. Huli sa damo, men. Huli sa damo. At ngayon, Archangel, gusto na, nita tong, gusto na nila yung Lord, parang Shinbu. Grabe talaga si Kiluas dito, real MP3. As MP3, MP3. Isa yung pinasimula na teamfight na yan. Oh. He's trying to make that miracle play. No, he won't. And now, pasok doon. Si Kiluas ngayon, tapos tingnan natin kung paano sasagot dito yung Brand Esports. Walang ano dyan, objective. Iniwan ang kapitan. Ay. Isama mo pa yung Liam Arjan. Grabe, pero matitira si paring Ryu dito. Siya ang magiging sacrificial hero para sa Archangel. There is the King's Calling. Oh. Mahila doon sa'yo magagana, pero wala. Lastly again, nagbabox out, naglalagay ng slow dito. Mm -hmm. Si paring, uh, paring Coco, pero tignan nyo yung minimap, mga Oh, oh, nga, mga tricks, Jeff Cutie forever sa taas Ang nasa gitna yung Panginoon At dun sa baba yung Min Sitar Archangel, ito yung ayaw na ayaw you don't Ang mga want... kalaban nila sa Archangel You don't La want this Laging namemressure na... Hindi lang yung Archangel, pati ang Onyx oh. Lagi silang namepressure Oh my G, sinabi natin Brent Esports ang nagsimula ng pressure cooker gaming Pero ngayon, pressure na naman sila on the blue side I like this crack block technique sa bandang Tore Kasi wala kang choice eh ah. Kailangan mo talaga lumayo kasi pag lumapit ka ng onte easy setup yon sa spear yeah. ni Jay para hilain ka Kuya Shin. Kasi dalawang choke points na lang yun. Dalawang eh. choke points na lang. Oh. Ever you want to do deal damage. Pero of course, may means it naman for that AOE wave clear. Yes. Yeah? And yung range kasi ng spear ni Jay, oh. naabot din sa axis ng tore. Uh -oh. Kapag nasa kita ka ng tore, pwede kang abutan. Oh, ah, alam mo pala yung axis. axis yeah. Boy, mat yan. Uh -oh. Isasulat. Tinuro sa grade 4. Tinu no, eh, ano. Second year high school naman. Year high school. Oh, <laughs> naman. Geometry. <laughs> Geometry. <laughs> Ewan ko ba, Geometry nga ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> Pero yun yun, boy. 12 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, hindi ko pa rin masabi ko, Shindu. How do you deal with this? Winter Trunchon para kay Rio. Oh my glove. Yung lineup din kasi ng oh. Archangel pare. Jump Brothers eh. Oh, 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 oh. Jumping Spider. Oh my Tatalon God. si Guinevere. Sobrang wild card nito. Ta Mga kaibigan, <laughs> oh again ha, remember, remember. Kung sino manalo dito, very, very close sa championship match point po sila. Dahil oh, nga oh. momentum based oh, oh. na ang isang best, best of five. three. Ay, oo, oh, tama ako oh, oh. Shin. Ngayon pa lang magkakaroon. Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, sorry. Ano yung first score item? Probably the... Golden Stop. 
the endless battle. Endless battle. Endless battle. battle. He went for the demon hunter sword. He wants to get the shred. Yes. He wants to get the shred. Na lang. Usually go for the thunder belt after oh, okay. after the golden uh, the golden staff. Pero yun nga. Oh. Kera naman dito sa may panaka para kay Hayes. Pero mukang wala pa rin tayo may kita ng makakakuha ng death mula sa Brady Sports. The Holy Cross. Oh, Sabi mo nakilubo dito at napamale na palo. Ah. Dito ngayon si Paring Joe Hayes pa rin, no after the immortality. Kira bisig goodbye. Last thing oh, I need to double kill already. Para naman sa pagkay Rebo Coco Dendels defending their own turret against the minion waves nakai ko nakai ko ko tali sa inaata ang bola ngayon para oh. sa sa ng Bren Esports Creation do nice usage of the first skill the spinning light wheel to slow down the enemies na pumapasok sa loob ng base 80 percent uh -oh. Slow. Yeah. Yung spinning light bill na yun, Kuya Shin. Yeah, you would have think, you would have think, na-push na sana yun ng Archangel, pero tinaasan ng Bren Esports ang kanilang depensa at hindi ito maliparan ng Archangel sa kanilang opensa. They need one good blazing duet na magmumula kay Jeff Duty Forever dito. Mukhang mas gusto niya yung first type na laban. Kasi again, napag-usapan natin, jumping spiders ang Archangel. Uh, the English. Special migration, ah, okay. the falling star moon, it na shoot doon sa King's Calling, tapos doon ka pag blazing duet sa loob. Mga okay, kaibigan, nanunood ang buong Pilipinas. Again, we are just down to the last two teams here. Eto na. Dito sa ating MPL Season 3. Shin, na 14 minutes na tayo. Oo. Isa lang ang ibig sabihin niyan. We are at the late game, game now. Ganun na nangyari Oo. dito, Shin. Mala Doctor Strange. Oh, nasa dulo na talaga tayo. Dulo ng walang hanggan. Ito na yung panahon na binigay mo yung time stone, no? Binigay na, binigay na yung time stone. Di Thamos, mm. ganun na ang mangyayari dito. Corrosion Sight. Parang Shinbu, sama mo pa ng immortality. <laughs> ang yaman ni Jeff Cutie. Jeff... Pinakamayaman, ladies and gentlemen, oh. kung nakita niyo yun. Pwede so, siya bumili ng Mustang. Pwede siya bumili ng Mustang. Pwede niya tayo ilibre lahat ng Yabi. milk tea. Oh. 12,900. Pwede siya bumili ng Realme. Oo, oh, oh, ma. <laughs> pasok na pasok. Oh real me, real me, real me 3 pro. Oh, naman, oh, naman. Oh, Ganyan tayo dito, mga kaibigan, goes for Hayes. That is actually a big misstep there from the show. At doon, nila ika-cash in yung pick ng mid-sitar. Oh, my G. All Ganda the shields. Oh, oh. All the shields kay paring Rio dito. Oh, diba? Maputi na ang buhok. <laughs> Pare, more than 5K ang buhay niya. Yabi. So, kuputi na yung buhok niya. 10K yung buhay niya. Ganyan. <laughs> And hindi yan... Yung buhay kasi ng Esmeralda, hindi siya countered as max HP. Uh -oh. So yung mga true damage percent na meron yung carry, wala lang dito sa shield. Pasok. Pa oh, uh, ganun pa rin. Oh, ganun pa rin. Pa rin. Oh. Oh. oh my G, ladies and gentlemen. Lilipad na nga ba ang Archangel dito? Parang Shinbu. Yun na nga, malaking katanungan. Gaano kapal at kataas ang defensive pwedeng magawa ng Bren Esports ngayon? The Lord is already pushing in favor of Archangel. Obviously, that's is gonna going in to the mid lane side. Of course, Bren Esports would just go into their own base. It's very, very risky, especially with the pickups of the Spear of Glory. Magic Thump then, na Greedy Beard dito. Mm -hmm. And they go out, they can easily get a knock-up mula sa mga membro ng Archangel. Here we go. Pero galit na, galit na, Lord. Sumugod na, eto na naman. Eto naman, mga kaibigan ng King's Calling, pumasok ang Calling Star Moon. Nakakaagad sila mga kaibigan ng Sibili dito yung ultimate syempre ng ating Valeric pero makikita naman naman yung bawas at buhay dito ni Jay na na maalam. Yung Lord ngayon ang nasa pipatang harapan at si Jay naman ay mawawalan dito ng ating immortality. Pero, Kilowash would make an answer dito at dun sa may bandang baba ay mawawala na rin ang ating inhibitor siya yun. Mission accomplished para sa Archangel. Chill lang. Gawin nating makulay ang mundo. Archangel, Archangel. Ating mundo ay gawing makulay. Pero nako, nawala na ng buhay. Si Paring Jeff Beauty Forever. Jeff Beauty Forever getting delivered into the base. That is a misplay punish here by the Bren Esports Squad. Ma'am, baka. Sigaw lang Archangel. Aliyup mula kay Hayes. Sabi ng Bren Ops, no easy basket. Even though makuha nila dito ang mga tore. My line of defense pa sila. They have all the damage in the world, paring Shinbu. What's interesting dito, hindi ko makita ang Berserker's Fury to give the crits na magbumula dito kay paring Yuji. Yeah. Sinasabi ng Bren Esports dito, rising star kayo, pero tandaan nyo, kami pa rin ang buwan dito, kami pa rin ang Bren mismo. Kami ay nagpauso ng lang malakas. Oo, kami lang ang malakas, oh, mga kaibigan. Okay. Yes. At ngayon, dito sa Season 3, kung saan ang dami ng malakas, Tingnan natin ang tunghayan kung how will all of this one conclude. Here goes for Jay oh. and Jay getting destroyed here. Items cashing in by the carry. Thunderbelt available. Killing spree para kay Coco oh, oh. Dalisay dito. Two oh, oh. minutes in ng ating papasok ah, ano na Lord. Pa-end of season na. Pa-end of, pa of, pa of season na yung, yung serie yung ni Coco. Yung serie ni Coco Dalisay, mga oh, oh. kaibigan. Having the Thunderbelt for the extra, extra oh, oh. HP. Pwede na lumaya yung Bendetta. Bendetta ben ben dito, oh. mga babi. Okay na. Oh my G, na kay Coco ang bola. 
at at that rate, yes, guys, ang lamang na lang po dito ng Archangel ay yung pressure sa gitna at dun sa may bandang baba. Pero guys, do not ever think na kapag nagkaroon ng class dito, surety ang panalo ka agad ng Archangel. Magkaiba. We don't think so. I think napaka-risky na ng carry dito. Ating pong pagmasdan sa tingin ko, paring Shinbo, ha? kapag nag-clash, kagaya nga lang sabi uh. mo, yung dalawang carries, yung dalawang marksman, sa laban na to, 6-2-3, si Baring Coco, 4-4, HC Jeff Cutie Forever, medyo consistent, yes. magandang KDA, yes. pero sa galaw nila, madidetermine yeah. ang laban dito dahil late game na tayo. And remember, Coco has a Beleric. Beleric is still in the late game, it's still Beleric, it still mitigates the damage. The Beleric yeah. Clinic, yeah. which is sinabi natin kanina, yung passive ni Beleric oh. dito, yung Flower of Nature, isang semi-counter yeah. mm. sa isang marksman kagaya ni Jeff Cutie Forever. And look at that. Of course, the obvious counter for Coco, hindi naman talaga basta susugutin ito susuguri ni Jeff Cutie Forever. Yan. Again, ang gagawin or ang habol kay Coco dito ay ang mga tulad ni Rio, ang mga tulad ni Kilua. But oh. Rose Gold Meteor is now available as well for Coco. Oh you cannot God. easily burst it. May Thunderbelt pang kasama. May Thunderbelt okay. pang kasama. So, kada phantom step mo, may brok ng kuryente. Oh, one, two, three, phantom step. Sasabayan, oo, oh, sasabayan ni Coco dito <laughs> yung kulog ng kidlat, <laughs> Kweshin. Oh, oh my God. Ala, um, mararamdaman mo, ang katahimikan ngayon ito sa Nef Pavilion. Mainit, mainit. Aim high, pa asay, binabati ko ang ating mayor. <laughs> mayor Calixto. Repin from ka naman. Repin from Pasay to, oh. boy. Oh, naman. <laughs> Lahat ng mga taga-Pasay dyan. Aim high, pero balik tayo sa ating ball game ko yung Shinbu. 19 minutes. Napakatagal ng ating laro uh, ngayon. Stall game ang nangyayari, yes. mga kaibigan. And of course, guys, we cannot disclose anything here. We want that our players to make the most of their own position para sa ito. Pero ayun, nakita ni Lasty, syempre si Pain at si Coco dito. Actually, nagkakabintahan na dito ng items, Kuya Shinko, oh, just oh. to get the immortality Yabi. item. Eh. Yabi. Para lang ma-extend yung team fight dito. Ak Actually, yeah. inaantay ko nga na may magmalefic roar na nga eh. Oh, yeah, Pag pwede. Pagkano na yung pagpwersahan na talaga ng pusye. Pero piling ko buka malabo kasi everyone is just preparing with this kind of itemization for the team fight. The team fight, I think, will happen oh. in front of the Lord. Eto na, oh, boss. Oh, my glove. Brace, Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Kapit sa mga na. upuan. Cameraman, alo boy, let's go. <laughs> It's time. Here we go. Sipa, Black Magic Kick. Naku po. Nakong sabay gera dito. Napatumba yung win si Tarver. May mortality yan. Sa ibang bahagi, inaabot siya Cutie Forever dito na control. Ang kanyang placing to win. Oh my G, doon sa bandang likod. Rio, Rio, Rio and Lasty. Ay, naku po. Nandito si Page na, Juji. Sabay Rio and Lasty. Avengers, assemble. Like Angel, magmamamba out na. Yabi at walang pwede. Ay, hindi. Hindi, tinitingnan. The Crash Gear! The Crash Gear! Yung mga Crash Gear! Yun na nga eh, yun na nga eh. Si Ryo, ay nako, Ryo! Ay nako! Huli kita ko! Dalawang Street Fighter! Oh my God! So, Ryo get up! Ryo trying to redeem himself again. Nakita ko na to. Salamat sa exec. Ryo! Ginagawa mo! Winter Traction ng kamatayan. One is to one. Bren Esports. Sila lumamang doon sa laban, paring Shinbu. Nakita ko na to, Trip. Sa replay, Trip. Na replay to. The replay. I saw it from the future. You come from the future, bro. Pini pinirata pa nga to sa YouTube. Yun na nga nangyari, Bobby. Ilang beses na. Isang one hit. Isang one, one hit. hit. Remember that video, Trix. It was Ryo trying to finish the game. Parang ganun But din. Kaso ang nangyari, Kuya Shinbu, hindi isang one hit yung base. For 14 million hits pa! Pasiguro nga mga tanim na one hit yun. 10 bits! Isang 14 million hits! 10 bits, mga bes! Oh my G, what a finals, Kuya Shibu! Again, the one who's trying to come back here ay ang Bren Esports. Dinala ng Bren Esports ang Espiritu ng Signal Ultra dito. You know that they're the one who denied Signal Ultra. Mas lahat papunta sa MSC. At kita nyo mga Bobby D, basag ngayon yung mid lane turret. Anong nangyayari? Ang ganitong trend, this is in favor of Bren. Unang turret, Kuya Shinbu. Let's see, Kuya Rio, kung may pesto na naman dito. But meanwhile, meanwhile, ang tunay na Hunter. Oo, pero siyempre, nakahanda lang din tayo. Kalma, kalma, kalma. Siyempre, kung tingnan natin, again, di tayo talaga pwede mag-review. Ng mga, kahit anong mga plano. Correct, ng mga plano. Ng, ng mga black magic. Kung baga, samahan nyo lang kami, ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh. sa pag-acting na kunyari, walang naglulord, oh. walang nagtitape ng objectives, <laughs> dahil mas gusto namin na mas tama at mas Guys, maibigay ng mga players again, ang maximum potential nila. What you are witnessing in front of you, dito sa Le Pavilion, ay ang daan, okay? 
Ang tunay the, last, na the last fight ang in crowning na, the uh -oh. strongest, the strongest mobile legends team sa buong Pilipinas. Kuya Shinbu, I like the wind of nature pick para kay Coco dito. Oh. It can negate some of the damage of na course. meron sa Blazing Duet. Duet of course. Sakto yun. Yung cooldown ng uh, proc nung ano nun, medyo mawawala yung Blazing Duet um, dito kapag na-timingan. Oh, 22 minute game, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, And ang hirap, stunning si Dr. Strange lang ang nakakaalam. Ng future. How, how will this end? Nang future. Ang problema dito, Kuya Shinbu, bawal natin sabihin kung ano ang future kasi hindi mangyayari. Nagkakabiklahan na ng boots. Wala nang boots-boots, sabi ni Coco. Even though, mahilig siya sa mga sapatos. Oh. Ganon. He's willing to give up his shoes oh. para lang maging kampeon. Tama-tama ka dyan, Kuya Shinbu. Pero gusto kong pagmas dito si Jaya kasi nagiging battle type na rin siya dito yeah. para having the BOD. Okay, tumunog na, pinasimulan na ng Red Esports ngayon ng Lord. That one we can easily mention. They're also scouting. Grabe ang respeto kay Lasting. Respect. Sobrang grabe ang respect the MC. Respect the MC. Pag-isa lang talaga siya doon, pero you can actually see they aborted it. Yeah, you, Napaka risky daw. Yes, parang grok. Eh, tingnan mo ha, 16 assists. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> oh, the diba? ultimate playmaker. <laughs> ang grok na Lasting dito, and actually pwede-pwede niya malasit kasi pwedeng umabot ng 1K. Yung damage ng power of nature. Indeed, machine. indeed. Parang manjin. Oh my G. Ino muna na tubig. Ino muna na tubig. Sana ganyan ka mag-carry. Sana ganyan ka mag-clone. Mukha lang. Alam mo, nag-training na ako kay Kaya Doggy. May itiks nga tayo. Pero sana ganun ka rin mag-Selena. Anong patang kanina. <laughs> Kuya Shinbu. Pero kidding aside, ladies and gentlemen, eto na ang laban. Alright. We got the ultimate getting forced out of Lusty here. Of course, you have to mem remember, this is the classic and signature Archangel playstyle. Oh, Pressure. Okay. Across the map. The pressure plus the sandwich. Mga technique. kaibigan, ito ang tunay na lipad ng Angel. Napakataas ng scope nila oh, in yeah. approaching a game. They always make sure that the sidelines are always getting pushed. Correct. Not to mention the Lord always getting checked. Yun na nga eh. So, parang walang may gustong mag-face check ng Lord dito yeah. eh. Kasi kung sino pwede mauna ng Lord, di mo oh! alam, oh, nako, eto yung Shoryuk at Violet Requiem. Yeah. Special Migration out, nilabas ang Phantom Ribbon Team. Ribbon Phantom Stop. Nakapok, patay ito, huli, patay ito. Si Kuluwas. Okay, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Tumatag ito ka lang, mamaya, pero tuloy tayo sa laban natin. Champion of Forever Casting is, of course, he's placing to win. Ah. At kita mo, wasak pa rin doon si Lasty ngayon. At wala pa rin napapatumpa mula sa side ng Brand Esports. Oh my G, sabi ni Captain Payne dito, let's go, Repo. With a beautiful initiation. On to Kiluwa, yeah. sparring shin. Rio. Going for the miracle play. Oh. Despite all the doubts against him, he will still go for the dive. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff QT forever wants to go for the pressure. The Lord has been slain. Ah. He's going for the push. Para sa Peleric dito. Oh Kaya siya medium wave. Na medium wave going for the push as well. Pinatungan ang Lord. And it's still not yet over. Hindi pwede yan. Bren lang malakas. It ain't over till it's over, Bobby! Oh my G! Sabi ni Jeff Cutie, Teka, hindi ako si CKTD! Sister team ko lang yun! Akala ko ako si CKTD! Oh my G, pare! What a game! What a game! Bren Esports! And I doubt this is still over! I doubt this is still over! Yes, my lord! But the timers are quite short! Let's Ito go for the push! Game. Ace Pumaso! Ten, 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 ten! dito a very massive comeback oh my friend esports wala na kaming pake wala na kaming pake kahit kami hindi na kami yung kinilala ng champion dati okay 